let's go over the requirements for Unit 4. Let's go over the requirements for Unit 4. In the classroom, you'll see that you need a minimum of three paragraphs, two different alignments, three different font faces, three different font colors, either an unordered or an ordered list, two sample headings, a background color, a block quote, an original image, meaning you've drawn it yourself with a pre-tag. I'm not judging quality here, just that you gave it a shot. A minimum of two phrase elements and a minimum of two font markup elements. And I have a sample here that you can look at showing that the page as it's complete. And you'll notice that I do have a background color, I have a horizontal rule, I have several shades of purple used in my font faces, and I have badly attempted to do some ASCII art drawing the face of my dog. Let's take a look at the code. To look at the code in Firefox, you're going to go to Tools, Web Developer, Page Source. I have two monitors so that opened in another window. And let's take a quick look at the actual code that I brought in and how it translates. I have a title in here. You need to have a title on your page. I have my body style with my background in here, setting the background color, that sort of cream color. I have put styles on my H1, my heading tags, where it's got a font family. You'll notice that this is a sans serif. It's 2M. M, 1M is the default font size set in your browser, so this is twice the default font size. It's got a purple color and it's been aligned center. Then I've done a horizontal rule that's got a self closing tag. So you just have the line at the end here set to 90% so it doesn't go all the way across the screen. And then I have started putting in paragraphs. I'm using both the strong and emphasis type of tags and the actual HTML tags for italic and bold. And you'll see that strong makes things italic, just like italic does. And bold does the same thing as emphasis is strong. And then I used big, where I have my HTML tag right here, making it larger. And then I have a block quote right here. I love deadlines. I like the wishing sounds they make as they fly by from one of my favorite authors, Douglas Adams. I have an unordered list, which unlike a ordered list, it has bullets instead of numbers. And then I attempted to do some ASCII art trying to draw the face of my dog in a pre-tag. And again, I'm not going to grade you on quality there, just try and do a little something in there. So it goes through all of the different things that you should have learned going through the lynda.com tutorials. And you should have uploaded that. And in Optana, you should have also made a new index page that would link to it. And so this is what it looks like in Optana. And one of the things that I do recommend that you do when you are done with your code, if you go into pri um, Let's see, where is it? Navigate, File, Edit, Navigate, Search, Project, Run. Let's make sure we've got this. Source. Okay, once you're actually in here, if you hit the Format button, it will just sort of neaten everything up for you, get aligned properly. And it does this where you have opening and closing tags on different lines, which is generally the way I prefer to program. So before you hand it in, you may choose to go to source, format, and just neaten everything up a bit. It doesn't really affect how it works, because you'll see that if I save it and preview it, nothing changes here. But it does make sure it's all neatly formatted the same way. So you need to create your own page according to the guidelines in our course. Make sure it's got your name as the heading and information about you and create some original, but not it doesn't have to be good ASCII art. Make sure to put it into Unit 4, link to it from your index page, and then upload your 
new work. You can just upload the entire site and then you will copy the link from your actual page. So you can just go into the actual page you've done, choose copy, and then you can paste that into your discussion board to where we're going to hand these in.